Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back. So, uh, I had a little bit of recording issue last episode. And so, we're jumping in here with uh, a few things completed. So, let's go to Michigan Control and I can get, fill you guys back in. Let's go to the archives here. So, um, I went ahead and, and recorded an episode and we successfully launched the uh, WAC Corporal Plus A a4 rocket um, and in doing that we were able to pass the uh, 600 um, kilometers altitude record as well as the 3000 and all the other ones that we had missed out on as well uh, so the big goal right now is to launch a couple more of those but we're going to focus a lot on science we're going to go out over the water we're going to go out over the forest and we're going to see just where we can kind of fly around here and uh, do that so let's see if we got any more upgrade points I don't. I've, I've spent nine, and they've all been into the uh, vehicle building. So we'll come in here. I'll show you the current iteration, uh, just in case there's um, some differences from what you've last seen. And then, like I say, we'll get a couple of them queued up. We'll point them in different directions, and uh, we'll go about that. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the WAC. A4, load that one. Okay, so this is what we got. So uh, we got basic WAC Corporal up top here. Uh, it has 1.75 uh, Delta V. It's a minute in f about roughly a minute uh, for launch time. We've got some separation motors as eulage charges to allow us to uh, make sure the fuel stays in the right spot and get everything up into space. And then that is followed up by a fairing and then the uh, A4 guidance unit and um, a A4 uh, missile. And so that allows us to kind of direct it through space and uh, as well as uh, get it or through the atmosphere, not space, no air. There is no um, RCS or anything on this at this point. Just the fins allow us to steer. So... Uh, currently build times around uh, 50 days so it's pretty good for uh, the complexity of this rocket uh, science wise it's still the same we have um, the uh, atmospheric and telemetry um, stuff here in the top we're using a tank up top here so that we can carry sounding payloads and I I did carry one sounding payload for this particular build. We're just going to go ahead and take that out so we can get as much distance as we can. And I'm just going to grab, well, I need to grab this part. I'm just going to kick it over. Well, let's just kick it over once. Um, and then if we need to steer it a little bit more, we can with that A4 guidance. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and launch one of those and then we're gonna go the other direction and launch one of those and that should get us water and forest um, we don't have a whole lot of other options until we get a little bit more robust rockets uh, Okay, let's leave here. I do believe we completed some science as well. Uh, let's go ahead and double check on that in the R&D and make sure everybody's up to speed on that one as well. So yeah, we did complete some science. We did get um, post-war rocketry testing, um, which allows us to upgrade our A4 engines um, and the RD uh, engines as well. So we can go up to the A the A9, the RD-101, and then the XASR um, rocket. So um, as far as uh, opening up some more science, we do have 15 science. So let's go ahead and grab early material science. Let's grab the avionics package. The big thing out of the avionics package is that's going to unlock the early guidance units for us, which will help out a bunch. Um, as well as some battery options. And we're going to get the um, early science. You definitely want that one. 
So that gives us six more points. Uh, we can go ahead and grab basic rocketry. And uh, let's go ahead and ma pick mature um, supersonic flight as well. And that'll spend the science we did get from that. And uh, so let's go ahead and spend those points as well. I'm going to go ahead and put some of those into the R&D because if we currently look at our tech times, um, these ones are only 76 days, which isn't that bad, but we're getting into the 230 days. Uh, it would be nice to speed up some of those. We're going to that move it up. Yeah, so we want to do this. We'll move, we're going to move supersonic flight down. I'm not too worried about those. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we'll get some of these other ones unlocked um, and then we can worry about supersonic flight. So as I said, got um, a couple points here. So let's go ahead and spend three See what that does for our time. So it went from 76 to 72, and then these went down a little bit. Um, so okay, a little bit of improvement would have liked more, uh, but I am def I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of those uh, points into uh, rocket build time for right now. So okay, recondition the launch pad. Yeah, it did cut off a little bit of time. We were looking at, I think, 50 days is what I said. So. I think I forgot to hit launch on the second one because we only have one queued up here. So we'll go ahead and click in there. Make sure we get a second one queued up. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit launch on that. So now, yeah, now we got two. Can only build one rocket at a time, um, but if it's queued up while you're waiting on uh, reconditioning or uh, rollout, um, you can work on this other one as well. So it's it's kind of nice to have multiple rockets queued up, especially if you can afford them. Because now, as we warp, you notice that both of those are working in progress. Um, so it saves you a little bit on time. All right, this one's ready to launch. Um, I'm just going to take a quick peek in here at our available missions. I think our altitude is going to be 700,000, so I don't believe we're going to be able to do that. I want to look at the difficulty. I didn't load any payloads here, but um, we probably could have done that one had we added a payload before we rolled out, but we're not going to worry about that too much. We want to grab some more science, grab some more upgrade points. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch this one. This one's going to head off to the east. Uh, should get, hopefully get us some water biomes, and uh, then we'll, like, we'll launch one off to the west and get us some forest biomes. Um, a lot of YouTubers, uh, streamers make the joke of forests in Florida. Um, having actually been to visit Florida, uh, they do have quite a bit of forests. I was kind of, uh, I guess myself shocked uh, about the forest I saw there. They grow a lot of um, lodgepole pine there as well for uh, like power poles and that so um, they also have lots of tree farms uh, but they do actually have you know true you know forests as well so 
Okay. It's just got a little bit of an angle on this one. We're uh, currently about 15 degrees tipped over. Let's see what Mech Jeb says. Uh, believe it is surface. Yeah, about 20 degrees. Actually, we're floating right there around 70. Uh, we're just going to kind of hold that, I believe. Um, we'll watch our our apoapsis um, right here. If it starts getting really close to 100, we'll definitely tip over a lot more um, because we don't need to get any higher than 100, 150. Uh, we're currently looking to uh, get more easterly than we are high. It does look like that's climbing pretty well, so let's come and tip down just a little bit more. So I think between the two rockets, we're going to be good. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a design flaw with <clears throat> with the way I made this rocket, and I'm not sure why. But the um, ejection process knocks the uh, whack corporal um, out of... Uh, uh, balance there so what I've been doing is I do a little bit of spin stabilization here just have the a4 spin launch that and it's not perfect you'll see there it's kind of still really wobbly off the uh, but it's stable-ish um, so yeah we're, we're still gonna we should have tipped down a little bit more when we had controls we're gonna um, head off pretty high into space uh, so we should, probably should have got down around uh, maybe even 30 or so or uh, sorry about 45 degrees uh, 40 degrees 30 30 probably would have been okay too but all right a little fast forward here see where we end up okay we got some telemetry so we are um, upper atmosphere over water so that's one we hadn't got before We just passed the Carmen line. Um, so we are in space. Uh, so now um, from space over water. We can get this one as well. We'll transmit that data. Our rocket's done. So my, we'll uh, fast forward to the peak uh, to our apogee. Come back down. And we should, all this science should be over water, so I'm just coming down below 50,000 here. We'll see if our rocket survives this. Re-entry. Just seeing if any science pops up. Yep, there we go. So hopefully we can get this transmitted before things burn up and splash down. Nope. Didn't quite get it. So 40% there. <clears throat> I was, if we'd been tipped over, we probably could have got that on our way up. I was hoping to get it on the way down. Uh, we could add a parachute um, to that so we can get some more science on the way down. Um, but, you know, all in all, that was a pretty successful mission, I think. We can also pick some of that lower atmosphere stuff up with planes um, later on. So, I just, right now, for the focus of trying to make this a successful stream. Um, I'm sticking to rockets because that's what I've done the best with. The uh, planes haven't been very great. Okay, so it looks like we've got a little bit more time this episode, so let's go ahead and fast forward uh, and launch our one over the forest, and that'll be it for this episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed these. Um, they've been interesting for me to get back into them. I'm not doing a lot of, whole lot of pro post-processing, so what I record is what you get. Let me know if that's okay. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the uh, little bit of history, a little bit of science, uh, and everything that goes along with these uh, as well as the uh, hopefully good gameplay footage. Um, not a whole lot of interesting stuff in these very basic rockets. Uh, next episode, now that we have the uh, A, the X. ASR unlocked, and then the A9 and the RD-101, we can definitely get into a lot more complex rockets uh, and bring our efficiency up there. So that's going to um, 
make it so that we can launch much higher into space. So, all right. So this one's almost done. We'll roll that out and then launch over the forest biomes. Uh, this time we will tip a little bit steeper and uh, shoot for around 40, 45 uh, for our final um, approach before we let go on the uh, uh, whack corporal. And uh, hopefully that opens up quite a few biomes for us. At the very least, we'll get the forest one and then possibly um, space forest science as well. Okay, launching this one. And I think I went over this a little bit, but just in case I didn't, uh, with the A4 rocket, uh, it has a little bit different launch procedure than what we are used to with the kick booster and the um, the uh, whack corporal style engine. Um, there is a little bit of um, throttle up time on the uh, A4 rockets and some of these bigger rockets, so you have to ignite them and then the th th rocket comes up to thrust and then you can you know let it off the uh there and up we go no oh. just try and keep it a little stable so that there we go 100 and uh get a little speed behind us so that it will help with that just a little so oh, i forgot to turn on stability control See how stable it is. It should hopefully follow its prograde net down now that we got some speed. We'll just kind of let it do its own driving. Um, and it should be a fairly efficient uh, curve here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're coming 40. I'm going to turn stability control back on just to hold it up just a little. Okay, there we go. There's some science. So let's grab these three, get those transmitting. And luckily those all came off. Oh, we burned out a little early. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do our spin. Launch off those fairings. Yeah, and that one's a lot more stable. And then fire our uh, whack corporal engine there. The Aero B style engine. All right, now we just wait for this engine to burn out, see where we end up for our Apogee and what other sciences we can unlock. Coming over the coast of Florida there, you can see the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, not sure what that little island is. I imagine, I think uh, Tallahassee should be up in this area. I'm not great at geography. Um, when I visited Florida, it was actually right down in there by Cape Canaveral. Um, it was, if I remember right, yeah, that should be the Miami area. I was over in a little place over here uh, called Green Acres, and I was visiting some friends that were in the Palm Beach area, North Palm Beach. Yeah, because I think Daytona is over right there. So I might be a little, little high because... As in Florida Panhandle, something like something like that. <laughs> but okay, 183. So that's going to put us up into space. Uh, so I'll open up some stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to be over. Yeah, we're definitely going to be over water um, by the time we make it to space, which we already have that science. So we'll go ahead and fast forward and just finish it out here. I don't believe we're going to see any more science available to us. So that's it for this episode. I hope you everybody has enjoyed it and uh, have a wonderful day.